Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for a really epic Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing. So, got another one of these, man. The Baku Clip Starters. These things are insanely rare, like I said before, you know. Uh, got this one particularly from my friend in Australia. I guess they've been found in New Zealand and such, but I'm missing anywhere. I'm sorry, but yeah. At least in the U.S. you can't find them, like anywhere. Same thing with like the Armored Alliance Nilius Enoch set, you know. Just Armored Alliance distribution uh, towards the end was really interesting. So some things got to some countries, but not others, you know. But yeah, dude, this pack looks sick. Ventus Arliss themed. And it's got Arliss Samoga. It's got Ventus Pegatrix, but it also has a Ventus Arliss Dragonitis in here, dude. Like, look at it. It looks so, so awesome. Drago Treaderous. And these packs... Uh, basically, it's been confirmed, you know, they all have just core Bakugan, because you know Baku Clip Starters, so it's kind of cool if they're doing that, because they normally have the packs, like, you know, three packs with an Ultra in there, but these Baku Clip Starters uh, being three packs with only cores, so that's pretty sick. But anyways, gotta check out the back, so Drago, Treaderous, Pegatrix, and Simoga all in here, and yeah, dude, without further ado, let's get into it. I really feel like I'm opening a nugget of gold, man. These things are so rare. I really thought these things were not existent. I just thought it was one of the things that Spin Master uh, just decided to scrap at the end. Because with each season, and they've confirmed this, there's some Bakugan that, you know, kind of just... They, they cut off at the end just for, like, time's sake, which is sad, you know. Uh, I think there's, like, a Pyrus Darkest uh, Hydronoid Krakalios that was supposed to come out. Because... <laughs> Haruhen got so upset because he loves Hydronoid, you know, and got so upset that they didn't release it, and I need scissors. And I mean, it's understandable, but I definitely hope if there's a point where, like, you know, they slow down with things, um, or even ideas for the future, um, if they took some of those Bakugan that they didn't end up releasing throughout the entire series, like, from different seasons, because we have some with Battle Planet, we've had some with Armored Alliance, we might have some with Geogun Rising, depending on how it goes, you know, um, and just, uh, re-release them, you know, because they'll all be exclusives because they never got released in the first place, so actually letting them get released would be really sick, and plus it would switch up, uh, the meta for sure. Every single release switches up the game. Oh, man. And the struggle of not having long fingernails. All right. Let's see. Almost got it. Almost. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Kinda. Kinda. Yeah, we're good. All right. Sweet. Get that out of there. Got all the Bakugan. Now just got to get the cores. One last little piece of tape, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, or maybe it might be a little bit of a big deal. Maybe. Is it double wrap? No, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so, let's see. I guess first things first, we'll get into the actual Baku clip. So, that translucent neon green looks so awesome, man. And then the gold yellow for the Arliss. Plus the silver for the clip down there. Yeah, man. And then a clip, of course, for, you know, either your gate cards or maybe you could fit a deck in there. You know, I stretch it out a little bit, but it might work because there's a spot for cores, too. So, yeah, man. And then the three spot for the three spots for the Bakugan. Then got to get this clip onto the top. Nice silver. And there we go, man. Honestly, this looks really, really sick. Like, imagine if they would have done, like, a darkest Arliss themed one. That would have looked really, really awesome because, like, the, the translucent purple. But, yeah, still looks really, really sick. Okay. Now, uh, let's get into the core. Well, not the core, the gate card. All right, so we've got uh, Enoch right there. 300, 300, 100, 100, 200, and 600. So, big time boost for darkest. Yeah, pretty good with a darkest setup for the standard way of playing the game. Now for the pro way, we've got the cores. So, we've got the fist here, plus two. Okay. I'll put these over to the side real quick. There we go. Then another fist, uh, plus three. Big time damage with these uh, regular fists. Plus 100, Aquas and Ventus getting plus three. That's a nice core right there. Uh, plus 200 with that shield. Minus 200 with that shield. A little shot for your opponent. And then plus three and Fusion Bakugan getting another plus four. So you can get up to seven damage with it. So, I mean, you have a Fusion Bakugan that gets up there damage-wise. That could be a good setup. All right, man. Now let's get into the Bakugan. So two of them we have seen before. 
So they are, are re-releases with this. But they're still pretty awesome Bakugan. So Aurelis, Simoga. You already know Simo's Bakugan. And then Ventus, Pegatrix. So Pegatrix I know has the Evo. That's like 8 cost. But it does get up there uh, decently. Uh, B-Power wise. But it's also like 8 cost. You know. But granted Ventus in the energy ramp. But looks really sick with all the lime green. Of course the yellow right there. Uh, the wings with a little bit of lime green. Yeah man. Like I said have uh, reviewed this before. But still a really, really awesome looking Bakugan. And from what I remember, it has 600, yeah, 600 Bs, I believe. Forgot where it's at, though. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, B-Power 600. And it's also uh, taken up a couple of those fists. So yeah, definitely want to go for like maybe some chaos with it if you're using it. Uh, get some Holy Flame in there because Holy Flame is a really nice card for regular fist decks. I definitely want them to, like, I think it would be cool if they added more cards that um added added b power based on what core you have so like how they did so with holy flame you land on a fish you get an extra boost like if they did so with the flame fist they did so with the shield would uh did so for the magic shield the helix all of them will be really really sick and would diversify uh the tcg for sure just adding those cards in there but yeah pegatrix looking so cool all right man now we've got simoga arliss simoga man looks so so sick in arliss of course, got the beard and such. Like I said, it's modeled after Simo because he won the first uh, Bakugan Invitational. And also did see it in Armored Alliance. And Storm actually owned it. And fun fact, in Geogon Rising, um, Hackett, Jenny Hackett, actually has Chaos Simoga. So that's really, really cool seeing them use different Simogas throughout different seasons. Maybe we'll see another Simoga uh, if there's a Season 4. But yeah. Anyways, man. So, got the silver on the beard. Or, you know, under the, the jaw, basically the beard part. Um, and then the gold on the claws looking so, so sick. Definitely Laser Man vibes with it, just how it opens. And then the silver right back there for those back legs. Then the tail. Just so, so sick, man. All the gold. And it looks really, really awesome in the ball form. I love just how much uh, paint they added to it. Because it really makes the details pop when it's in the ball form. It's just so, so sick. All right. Boom. Boom. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And there you go. Arliss Simoga. All that metallic gold looks so, so awesome. And then the silver as well, man. Just so, so cool. Got to give it a rollout one more time. There you go. All right. And also, it is strong enough to pick up two cores. Anybody who's wondering? You know. And Pegatrix, same thing. I mean, if they're overlapping, the Bakugan have a higher chance of picking up two cores. But their magnets are pretty decent. So now, last but not least... We have Drago Nidus, Drago Treteris here, Ventus and Arliss version. So this is exclusive to this pack. I mean, besides the uh, 1 in 500 Drago Treteris, this is definitely uh, the rarest, you know, because you can only get it with this pack. And it looks so sick with the Ventus and the Arliss. The silver paint right there, that gold paint, especially on the claws, looks sick. And then the black paint at the bottom, a little bit of lime green. Looks so, so awesome in the ball form. And I'm hoping it has some pretty good stats because it looks so cool and I definitely want to use it. But yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Hey, and there it is. Can pick up two. Yes, it can. Shows right there. All right, man. So there it is. Yo, the gold on the head looks sick. And then the yellow horn, the yellow eyes, and then all the green, of course. The silver on the feet. It looks so, so sick, man. Ventus and Arliss, Drago X Treteris. Looking so, so awesome. It's B-Power's 300, though. I'm like, man, dang. I mean, hopefully it has, uh, I don't know, maybe the shield. Who knows? But hopefully it has a pretty good Evo with it. But yeah, B-Power of 300. That is pretty low. And that does make me a bit sad. Because it looks so, so awesome. But yeah, man. The closest thing we've gotten to uh, Leonidas. I swear they paid homage to the first era Leonidas with Drago X Traitorous. And I'm still hoping that Spin Master makes figures for the Bakugan that we have not seen. Um, in, well, you know, actually made yet. That we've seen in the show and also the video game. So like Artulian and also Tico. Tico's my, one of my favorite Bakugan from the first season. Gorillion. Like Leonidas. Also... The the Oritoa, they showed up in Geogon Rising thus far. The Oritoa, 
like all these Bakugan definitely should get figures. Like I really want to see figures for them because they're so, so awesome. I would definitely make a Tico deck or a Leonidas deck, hands down. But anyways, uh, let's get into the cards. So Ventus Pegatrix, Double Fist, 602. So I can get up to like 750, 750 and four, you know, or 705. But yeah, definitely want to use it for like a regular fist deck. Maybe try to get a uh, magic shield in there. Because if so, you get it to break a thousand, you know, get up to 1250 with a magic shield. So yeah, man. Then we got Arliss Simoga, 701, but the kicker is when it lands on a shield, it gets plus 300 and plus 4, and that's really awesome. So it gets up to, it can get up to 1300 right away, 1305, which that is not bad at all. So yeah, looking so, so awesome, plus that artwork of like the palm trees behind it, like it's going down Sunset Boulevard or something, and that sky looking sick. All right, and then we've got Drago and Treacherous, 303. It has a flame fist and a regular fist. Wow, and it's five for its fusion. Man, that's sad. Makes me a little bit sad. It's going to be really tough to use it, <clears throat> you know, unless you use both of these cores as, like, traps for your opponent and then get a magic shield in there. Then you can get up to, like, 950. But, yeah, then five for the fusion, and it goes up to 1,407. I mean, five costs for that. If it was, like, three costs, that would definitely be a lot better, but... Yeah, man. I mean, you know, it does still look really, really sick. The Ventus and the Arliss. Not gonna lie, I am a bit sad about the stats, though. Like, it's, like, Flame Fist and Regular Fist and only has 300. It's like, that is definitely pretty low, even for being a fusion. But, yeah, dude. Overall, it does look really, really sick. So... That is going to do it, you guys, for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Armored Alliance Baku Clip Starter 3-pack. Man, I still can't believe I managed to find these things, like, just so, so wild. Big time shout out to my friend Scott again. Like, holy crap, dude. Like, I legit thought these things were myths. Like, they didn't actually exist. And, yeah, they do. But they're just really difficult to find. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome and Bakugan, bro. I'm about out of here.